This is my dad's 911. I was going to review it with the help of my Porsche loving pal James Dean, however when I found out that he'd never driven an air cooled car before, I decided instead to film this little vlog of us on a little trip across the English countryside. So this is us, talking about cars. A full review will happen when the weather improves again. Enjoy. This is your your first. I thought this was your first air cooled drive, but this is actually your first air cooled everything, experience. Everything. Yeah, yeah. you're not even passengered nope. in, the, in, in anything. Not, not that I know of, anyway. Not that I can. That you can remember. Yeah. So, what's your first impressions then? It's nice. I like these. It's comfortable. It's nice to drive. Yeah. I mean, it's. This is. I haven't driven this in uh, quite a while. I haven't driven it since last year. Yeah. Uh, I've driven it a reasonable amount. Straight oh, on, yeah. Yeah, straight yeah. on. Yeah, no, it's nice. It's much dinkier, like we were saying in here, than it it's, is, it's and like it's newer. And like, yeah, yeah. Like even compared to say something like the Evora, it's oh, like yeah, yeah. actually quite small in here, yeah. and the windscreen is really close to yeah. you and everything. And I, yeah, that's cool. It's stiffer than I remember it being. Really? Like, it, yeah. Like the suspe It's not uncomfortable, but you can feel the road surface, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. There's feedback. Mm. Steering's nice. Steering, lovely. Even though the steering wheel is like, so you're used to having steering wheels like into you. Like this is sort of like, yeah. And the pedals are really off. offset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's got quirks. I like that. Oh yeah. So the 964 is a really odd one. It sort of sits in this weird place in the 911 timeline. Because for a long time, I think really it was a bit of a. It was wasn't the last one, was it? Really? Yeah, it's not a forgotten car because I think that'd be unfair to say. But yeah, you know, no one ever really forgot it. It's just that for a long time nobody really cared about it. Mm. I mean, I remember when you picked one of these up for like four figures. Yeah. I mean, it would be a ropey one, admittedly, but yeah, a lot of 964s were used as the basis for the kind of resto mod conversions. Yeah, yeah. You know, all the sort of. 773RS replicas mm -hmm. and they use 964s as bases because they're such good cars. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you know, they're a lot better than a lot of the older cars, but you know, in a lot of ways, this is the last of the classic 911s. You've got that view yeah, out yeah, the front, yeah. which is quite special. Um, the lights, yeah. yeah, yeah, the 993 lost that. So I had a 993 for about a year, a, a Targa, and it's definitely a familiar cabin. You know, all the major things are kind of the same. Did it, yeah, it didn't change a huge amount, did it, from this to the 993? Um, Interior-wise, no. No. No, so no that's what I meant, sorry, yeah. the inside, yeah. So, from what I understand, basically, Porsche wanted to introduce the 996 interior, or uh, something right. like it, with the 993. Okay. But they, they just did not have the money. Uh, okay. So, I think as far as Porsche were concerned, the 993 was always... Like a stopgap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it was. A, it was a kind of we are a bit stuck. We need. So it didn't something. have the longest shelf life, did it? Really? Well, neither this nor the 993 stayed around for that long. No. I mean, your average 911 now. I mean, they go for usually what about seven or eight years. Well, the 991s, what 2011 or 18? I suppose we'll see the introduction of the next one next year. So about eight years. Yeah. So you, I don't think the eight, it was eight years on this and the. No, not, was, not, what, at all, was, not at all. Not at all. About nine, four years each. This uh, came out in 89 yeah, and started to get replaced in about 93, thereabouts. Like yeah, 94, 94, then 98 was when yeah. 996 came in. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah it was very short. Because mm -hmm. your Boxster came in, what, late 96, early 97, yes. that kind yeah, of yeah, period. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, this, these, they only lasted for about four years each. So, I think the thing is that for a lot of people, and actually if you talk to, you know, 911 guys, basically anything from 1963 when they were introduced, to 1989 when this was introduced is kind of seen as one model okay. like evolutions of you yeah. know and so Tweaks. Just, yeah so you know in 67 they they lengthened the wheelbase a bit to kind of counter mm -hmm. a lot of the arguments about them being too tail happy um yeah, was it 73, 74, you had the changeover where they brought in the, the impact bumpers. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which a lot of people didn't like. Yeah. Oh, and really? Yeah. So now uh, it's considered iconic, isn't it? Yeah. Is it? That's the thing. And, you know, I think if it stays around for long enough, people kind of get to love it, I guess. Mm. Um, 
And then of course this is the first one where they actually really integrated that bumper into the design mm -hmm. properly. I think this is the best colour. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it's guards red, isn't it? It's guards. Yeah, yeah. Not Carmine, which is no, what the seven eighteen is, yeah, yeah. which I got wrong. You did get uh, that wrong. I did get that wrong. Yeah. Um, Apparently, so, you blamed me for that. I don't think that was my fault. I think it is. Everything's my yeah. fault. Yeah. So I tell you my experience with nine, my first experience with nine six four. So many many moons ago, I used to work part time and taking pictures and videos and things uh, at a, a Porsche dealer that specialised in air cooled older stuff mostly. I had no interest at all in the nine six four. 993 I kind of liked, the classics, not really. My bag always was the much more modern one, so right. if ever we had a GT3 in or something, I was like, ooh, yeah. So I like that sort of stuff. There was a chap who came in who had a 944, right. that, uh, it was immaculate, but at the time worth like 50 pence, and he wanted to get into an air-cooled 911 of some description, and we had in this Guards Red 964 Targa. Now, I didn't like 964s. Mm -hmm. Didn't really like the shape of them or sort of anything, yeah. really. I definitely didn't like that generation of Targa. Right. Didn't like, because that was the last one with the old school rollover hoop. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That they've yeah, now yeah. kind of... Come back to. Yeah, like they're mimicking the look of it. Yeah. So, obviously, the 993 went to the glass roof system. Yeah. And so, I, I was not a big fan of, of that car. Now the story with this particular car, it was really, really nice, it wasn't a lot of money, it was like 20 something, something, something grand. And it had like 50, 60,000 miles on the clock, something like that, but it had a complete engine rebuild. Okay. Because the guy had been driving it and one of the oil lines had split right. and the oil pressure gauge just went Psh! But he hadn't noticed it until it was far too late. <laughs> so, because they're generally very reliable cars, yeah, if yeah. looked after, they're generally pretty good. Uh, so he had noticed so this thing had had a complete engine rebuild and I had to take this customer out on a test drive so usual test drive procedure you know dealer drives first and then then switch over and customer drive so I took this car out oh, I just loved it. it it was just the sweetest handling thing I'd ever driven yeah, like okay. yeah I, I didn't like looking didn't at it didn't expect it either no, really. no. Like, I, I got in it being like oh, I've got to drive the Targa you know, and then I got in. I was like, "Ooh, ooh yeah!" Like this. everything about it. Yeah, because the gearbox on that one was probably the best of all of them because it had been freshly redone yeah, as yeah. well, and and all that sort of stuff. So, and we're going to get onto some bends in a minute, so you're going to get a chance to sort of experience like what makes these things so mm. just delightful. Yeah, yeah. Um. So we both got lapels on, so I'm going to crack the sunroof open, so because hopefully that shouldn't affect us too yeah, much. Yeah. So again, I'll show you guys some more interior shots, but the interior in this thing is like it's like someone just had a collection of buttons and just went. <laughs> yeah, it and, coughed and everywhere. They just, they just landed so the sunroof switch is, is incredibly well hidden but so again because I think with especially with these 911s the Cabrio just ruins the shape yeah you're not a fan of convertible 9 a lot of people aren't no. a lot of people aren't no I think they got better over the years I think the newer ones yeah look so bad, much, actually. if you look at like the the 993 it, it's it's awful Wrong. Yeah. yeah it's really really bad um, this is a cruiser this is just yeah. a pot around in it's quite yeah. nice I don't feel like any urge to thrash this. It's no. like, yeah. No, like if I was in a lot of other cars, I'd be like, oh, can, no, yeah, come on, can I get round? Yeah, yeah. No, it's happy to poodle. Yeah. yeah. So, what do you think of the steering and everything? My steering's got so much feedback. Yeah. It's so nice. It, you can see why people do go gooey over them because it, it is nice. It, there is so much communication through it, and like you say, through the seat, through the chassis as well, which is surprising because it's quite comfortable and pliant, yeah. I think. But it's still very communicative. Yeah, these are super comfy spec seats. Yeah, they're so really nice. The Grey with the red piping. It's a, it's actually quite a nice spec of car. I want one. Yeah. I want one. Yeah. But yeah. It would make a I good get kind one. of classic. I think I'll get one. Yeah. yeah. Echo Porker. Yeah, yeah, maybe not now, but at some point. What I would you I'll have be... then? Would you be into the 964 or 993 kind of shape? I've not driven a 993 either, mm. so it's my first air cool, so I don't know. Very different drive. Oh, actually. really? Yeah, yeah. I think the 993, from memory, again, because it's been a while. years since I drove one, but much heavier, more physical cars to drive. Oh, okay. We were actually talking yesterday about the weights of these cars, so. That, that's reason. what we do. That's uh, yeah. like the interesting lives we lead. Because yeah, we've right. got the weights of cars. Yeah. Oh, you won't believe this. A 918 weighs 600 oh, and yeah. something kilos. And, uh... So this car weighs anywhere between about 1360 to 1400 kilos. It's basically the same weight as the 993 was. And actually, the 996 Gen 1 
wasn't a lot heavier either, like about plus 30 odd kilos. Curiously, the 996.2 put on quite a bit of weight from yeah, this. Yeah, what so, was that? Well, the Crash first... safety stuff, or...? Maybe. The first 996 had... It was very Spartan. You know, like, yeah. no glove box, none of that stuff. You know, really, really basic. Plus, it had the 3.4, which maybe the engine then weighed a bit more than 3.6. I don't know. I mean, it's it, it's a super similar engine, but perhaps there's differences there. Uh, I think you probably have got some, some safety legislation. That engine didn't get a lot of love, from my understanding. No. No love. No love. Ever. Zero. No, ever. Yeah, zero. Yeah. Um... I mean, this really, it's a its a classic kind of yeah. lump. Um, I would prefer a manual. Yeah. I would prefer I, a manual. I, I would. Not that this gearbox is actually that bad, it's better than I thought it would be, but I would prefer a manual. Yeah. It's nice just to, I, as I say, it's just nice to poodle. It is, isn't it? That's the kind of thing it does to you. It just waft along. I'd have no urge to really go like mega quick in it. Yeah. You, just, you know, you've had a GT3. Yeah, a GT3. And yeah. a 997. Yeah. Uh, I've got the 996 uh, C4S. And you know, this is my dad's. Mm -hmm. They are all totally different cars. Yeah, I know. Like nine elevens, people do sell. Oh, they're very. They're not. They are. It is all things to all people, isn't it? I think there's always yeah. a bunch of people out there for whom they're like, no, nope, never have a Porsche. No, German, don't want it. They get like a ticket. Well, Lori, about it. Lori doesn't like them. No, Lori doesn't. Yeah, Lori. but that's fine. Yeah, but Lori's weird yeah. anyway. So no, I just leave. He, Lori's his own. He, thing, he likes trains. So. If Lori won the lottery, the first thing he's going out and buying is a steamroller. Yeah. yeah so yeah. that kind of says everything you need to know. Yeah. Um, so my 993, one of the best things about it was that it had the sports airbox, which is literally just the airbox with about 40 holes drilled in the side. Right. This is an okay. official Porsche thing. This is not like some aftermarket thing. This is an official <laughs> oh, this Porsche was, thing. This is a real... Yeah, this is the, the motorsport Stutt airbox. Stuttgart magic. Yeah, yeah. was the airbox with holes in the side. Right, okay. And it sounded awesome. Okay. Like, really. It was all induction noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because you had the roof open a lot yeah. with the Targa, it just... Oh, Mega. Yeah. It was proper noise. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the complete antidote to all of the modern kind of synthetic or enhanced or artificial noises. It was just. This is what awesome. I'm bored of with newer cars. So overall. Yeah, no, I really like it. So it doesn't do a lot when you put your no. phone down. Yeah. Try the manual thing. There you go. See if that does anything. Oh, it's a little bit fruity, isn't it? Oh, it sounds nice at the top end. Yeah. Lovely, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. That sounds really nice. Yeah, I think if I was going to buy a 911, I'd, I'd probably wind up going with, if I was going to have an air cord, I'd probably want to go with the 993, because I do much prefer the looks. Okay. But to drive, if someone says to me, I want to drive an old 911, which one should I drive? It's this one. Yeah, yeah. I went yeah. right up here. Oh, it's so there you go. It? Yeah. Glad you enjoyed it. I did. It's mega. There you go. Thank I like you guys. actually step on the brake. It's awesome. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. And um, where do you want to put it? Just down there. Yeah. Uh, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you for the next one. Bye bye.